Hey guys, it's Brooklyn. Today I'm gonna kind of just dive right in because I cannot wait to unbox this for you guys. But as always, I love you guys. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. If um, you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you don't wanna subscribe, we're just glad you're here. But we do do lots of uh, fun reviews on like lightsabers and gaming and lots of new Apple products. So we have lots of fun here. So I would love if you guys could subscribe. Today, we're doing an unboxing of the new Switch, the new OLED Switch. Guys, I'm so embarrassed because I recorded my Instagram short, um, my Instagram reel and YouTube short on this new Switch and I said OLD and I left for a football game and didn't realize I posted it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I said OLD instead of OLED. I promise it is O-L-E-D and not O-L-D old. So we're gonna get into the unboxing. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out my knife here. Oh wait, this one doesn't have anything to cut. What? We'll use that for another video. I almost cut myself. Okay, unboxing time. Okay. Unboxing him for you guys, sorry. Unboxing time. I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna start with these little controllers. Oh, we'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so this new Switch has these new white controllers, which I really like colored controllers, but these white controllers are actually pretty cool. They look good with my nails too. Then we got this, uh, I almost just called it dock, the actual Nintendo Switch console. Number one complaint resolved. This is spoilers because I'm going to get into it more, but this kickstand is not so cheap and flimsy anymore. You can tell, well, I can tell just by looking at it that the screen is quite a bit bigger and there's no more large bezels. Oh, and this back. So I'm going to do a comparison, but you can tell that the back's not going to get scratched quite as easy. It has like this matte type look. I'm kind of obsessed with the back of that. Guys, I have not seen this yet. This is so exciting. Okay, now we gotta look at the dock real quick. Don't mind my fingers, fingerprint smudges on that. So the box comes with HDMI and cord. And then the dock. That's pretty. I like that a lot. Oh, and that backside is dope. This little guy, I like that. Does this part still open up? Yes, it does. Oh, it just, it just came off. Okay, so that's definitely different because um, the switch I have now does not do that. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna take a closer look. I'm gonna get back to this dock, but I just wanted to unbox that and talk a little bit about it. Okay, I kind of skipped this part because it's not the fun part as much, but we got the HDMI cord, then just the normal cord, the USB-C, the charger, and then another unboxing. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm gonna compare that to my other one in just a second because I brought it with me. That looks nice though. And then we got these Joy-Con wrist straps, which these are really cool because look guys, you can see this little like wh white is woven into it. I like those a lot. Awesome. And it comes with two of those. Okay, now let's talk about what you're getting with this new OLD Nintendo Switch. What it's all about, I guess I should say. OLED? Again? O-L-E-D. Did I say O-L-D? Yeah. O-L-E-D Nintendo Switch. This new Nintendo Switch has made some minor adjustments. If you are like me and you use the Nintendo Switch in handheld mode, you're going to notice these, difference. these differences. Um, now the screen or the Nintendo Switch is now seven inches long. You can tell that it's longer even just holding it right now because I haven't um, tried it on with the Joy-Con controllers, I can tell it is quite a bit bigger. Uh, the bezels I talked about are smaller. 
And then I really want to get into this because this is the part I'm most excited about probably. But this kickstand here, you may have seen in my very first Nintendo, oh, actually my very first video I've ever recorded talking about the Nintendo Switch. I talk about the cheap little kickstand it has and how I think I'm going to break it in two seconds. I have not broken it, but lucky for us, they have upgraded it to this um, thick, sturdy uh, kickstand, which I really like, and it kind of just takes up the whole backspace. Has the micro SD um, card right here too. I think that looks really nice. This matte finish looks seriously so awesome. I It's not gonna get scratched. And then we have these, the power and the volume button that are quite a bit different. I would say this power button seems, I don't know yet. Oh, I just turned it on. But it seems like it is a little bit more difficult to push. Like I'm having to use my finger now. Um, the game card's a little bit different. Oh, it definitely is harder to open, but that's where you put your games. That is difficult, but it feels solid, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, the buttons, oh. They feel a little bit different. Not a bad thing, not too much different, but definitely noticeably different. I can tell um, the arrow buttons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare to my other Switch in just a sec, but let's look at the dock and then we'll do a comparison on both. Um, so yeah, we talked about how this, <laughs> that surprised me that it popped out and then it has the um, ethernet core or the ethernet port, which I don't know why they didn't have to be with but now we have that which is going to make um downloading games a lot faster the hdmi and then um usb c the power adapter um the sorry the dock has like a matte type look too which i really like that they did that okay let's get a little bit comparison because that's the whole fun part let me pull over my switch oh i'm not lining it up there we go you can already tell, so in my first video that I did on this Switch, it, I bought it with scratches because I did a refurbished one, but this one is not going to get scratched, and I love that. And then this little cheap kickstand has only one angle. I don't know the best way for you guys to see it, but um, this one, you can do whatever angle you want. You can do just a little bit. Here, we'll show it like this. Oh. See how cheap that is? I didn't mean to put that down. But you can do just a little bit or open it wide. So whatever angle you want it at. Which is really, really nice. Um, and then let's do this little comparison. I'm gonna line it up. You can see just a slight, oh, I'm trying to line it up. Maybe we get the control, the Joy-Cons off. But you can see that it's just a tiny bit bigger. But holy crap, these bezels, they are so big compared to these. Like, I don't, I don't want this guy anymore. That does not, I do not like that at all. Taking the Joy-Cons off and then comparing the size since we couldn't tell super well. We'll put this, the older one on top. That is it lined up. So it just has like an extra little edge right there. But the screen, as you can tell, is a lot more full than because of the large bezels on the older one. Um, one thing I am really excited to look at is how good, I mean, it's an OLED screen. It's supposed to be the best screen, right? Well, that's what I wanna find out right now. Holy crap, you can definitely tell a difference because of the bezels. You can tell, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited because I was trying to just focus on the whole layout of what screen's bigger, but you can even tell a difference between this OLED screen and just this regular screen. The vibrancy of this OLED screen is crazy. Okay, distracted, but um, the the bezels definitely make a difference. This one now like seems super cheap to me. And then just looking at the vibrancy and the difference, I can tell which one I want to be picking up and playing with right now. Okay, taking a closer look at the buttons, I said before that I think that they may be different, but I think my Nintendo Switch has just been well-loved and that these ones are just new. So they feel different, but they are the same. And then the Nintendo has been saying that they're trying to fix the analog sticks to not cause any drifting. So I guess we can kind of see if that has been fixed, but there's no promises there because they haven't really came out and said, yes, we fixed the drifting. 
So we'll just see, time will tell with that one. And then for this, uh, I guess we have one here without the sticker, but this has also just been well loved and these look the exact same. So there's no difference there. Okay guys, I'm gonna answer some of your questions that you guys have asked me. The first question is, well Brooklyn, where the heck can I get a new Nintendo Switch? They're all sold out. And guys, you might be out of luck on that one. You might be going to eBay. Hopefully um, that will change soon and it's not gonna be like a PlayStation 5 type situation or Nintendo Switch during quarantine. Hopefully you guys can get your hands on some because it is really awesome. And then the other question that um, I got asked was, do the old Joy-Con controllers work with the new uh, model? And I can tell you, yes, they do. And then vice versa, the new Joy-Con um, controllers also work with the older model. Other than the screen, I think the new Nintendo Switch has the same performance overall. They have some minor improvements, the screen obviously, and then the kickstand. And I'm telling you guys, I really like this mat back that makes it so it doesn't scratch so easy. Sometimes we see with OLED screens, it does help with battery life due to um, there being a lot of black. With black, you can turn off the pixels, which will help with battery life. Do I think that the games have enough black to help with battery life? Not really, I don't think that will help out much. And then the theme is a gray. It would be really cool if they could come out with black because then it would come, or it would help with the battery life but do I think that the vibrancy of it all is awesome? Yes, absolutely. But the battery life is the same. So do I think this Nintendo Switch is worth upgrading? Well, I've actually got the, asked this exact question several times from some people and it's kind of a complicated answer. So we have in our lineup, we have the Nintendo Switch Lite and then the Nintendo Switch, the original Nintendo Switch, and then the OLED Nintendo Switch, this newest one. If you like playing in handheld mode and you only play in handheld mode, you don't really use it in the dock, why are you not just getting the uh, Nintendo Switch Lite? Obviously that makes more sense, it's lighter and you don't use it in the dock, so you're not really, you're just paying more for no reason. But I would say this OLED Switch is kind of the sweet spot between the Nintendo Lite and the original Nintendo Switch because you got the better screen. For handheld mode, it is, you can noticeably tell a difference. The screen is awesome. Um, and then you can still use it in the dock. So with that being said, kind of use that information for yourself. Me personally, I actually like using the dock and handheld mode. I would say I use handheld mode a lot, but I like having, being able to change the colors of the controllers and I like using these as well. So that's kind of why I upgraded. So take what you will from that. If you already do have the original Nintendo Switch, the LED Switch, do I think it's worth going out and buying the new Switch? Probably not, but if you, play in handheld mode a lot and you want that vibrancy and contrast of that screen, then yeah, get it because it really is so awesome. But take that information and see which one you guys think is best. Thank you guys so much for doing this unboxing video with me. It was seriously so fun and I love this so, so much. I can't wait to play on it. And yeah, thank you guys, like, comment, uh, Nintendo is coming out with some new games before they didn't really have any fun games, but I can tell you they have absolutely stepped up with their um, A game on that. And I'm really excited. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.